Factory jobs are returning to the U.S. One Chinese company moved jobs from Vietnam to the state of Maryland. And the U.S. is hoping more of these companies will do the same. Jessica Stone has more. Light a candle and you welcome more than illumination. Indeed, in the global marketplace, a candle is a home decoration, a mood setter, a sign of celebration. People call it uh, um, affordable luxury. Uh, you don't have to use candle every day, but uh, it really uh, make people happy. We sell our product. David Wong is co-founder of Chesapeake Bay Candle. For 20 years, the company has been designing and making candles. Every culture has a tradition of making candles. The ancient Chinese used wax made of insects. The ancient Romans used animal fat. But Chesapeake Bay Candle Company isn't just concerned about what's in the candle, but what it does for the whole room. This is not just about providing light. No, it's more about the fragrance, aromatherapy, uh, and also a good decor. The company's chemists fuse dozens of colors with hundreds of fragrances to keep their candles on the cutting edge. As a young graduate student in geophysics at China's Beijing University, David Wong himself was not planning to leave the lab. To make a candle burn perfectly, you have to have a good formulation. So I think my uh, science background does help. What David and business partner Mei Xu began in their basement with some soup cans and a cooking pot led to their first candle-making factory in China in 1995 and a second one in Vietnam seven years later. David watched as the value of the Chinese yuan rose against the dollar and American customers demanded quicker delivery. So the cost advantage in China and other Asian countries has no longer as significant as before. So in 2011, Chesapeake Bay Candle began manufacturing its candles in the United States, moving jobs from the factory in Vietnam. The opportunity came at a good time for Maurice Owens, who had been unemployed for six months. It's on the subway line, it's on the bus line, and when you have a car, you know you definitely can get there. So it's been a blessing for a lot of us. Wong says he's paying half of what electricity costs in China, and rent here is much cheaper. But best of all, he says, he can now target American customers who want products made in the USA. We have uh, many buyers. They uh, specifically uh, ask to have their candles made in this U.S. factory. Has that increased your local business as a result? Yes. And uh, we hope it will be more and more down the road. Wong's partner, Mei Xu, has shared the company's story at the top levels of the U.S. government, alongside President Barack Obama, who has pledged to create one million new manufacturing jobs by 2016. David Wong says while the U.S. government can create incentives for insourcing, it has to make good business sense for the manufacturer. Here in Maryland, the company expects to triple its production capacity by next year and sees more room to grow. I think this will be a main growth engine for our business in the next 10 years or 20 years. All because of a bright idea to make light into home fashion. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Glen Burnie, Maryland.